which actually you should learn. Now, it's the most asked question by most of the new learners, and they are quite confused whether they should learn American accent or the British accent. I would answer you in a concrete way without talking about any flowery things and all. I'm telling you exactly which accent is suitable for you as a new learner. Okay, before we start this video, I'm going to ask you a simple question. So what is the pronunciation of this word oregano? Now you have to tell me the American pronunciation of this word oregano. Now I'm going to give you the answer at the end of this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now there are so many accents to learn. I mean, when we talk about standard accent, we always talk about either the American accent or British accent. But there are also other accents as well, such as a New Zealander or Australian. And if we go to some Asian country, you can talk about Filipino accent, Indian accent. Uh, so which accent you should learn? Mm, of course, standard accents are American and British that you should be learning. But if you have some specific goal, like if you want to move to a country, say if you want to move to the Philippines, or South Africa or Australia, New Zealand, uh, might be India. So you can learn those specific accents. So I, but I don't think that you should actually be learning these accents. Uh, you should always stick with standard accent that is American and British. But in short, if I tell you which accent you should start learning with, the answer is American accent. Now I'm gonna give you all the data and statistics to prove the why you should learn American accent. And I'm going to break down everything into percentage and tell you that why is it is useful for you to learn American accent rather than any other accent because American accent is spoken by a lot of people in the world. Now we're going to talk about the numbers and let's play with mathematics. I don't really like it, but we have to talk about numbers, right? All right, so uh, if I just read some data from here, I can see that 4.23% of the total U.S. population can speak English, right? Or can speak in American accent, and to be very precise. Of the 4.23% means that I'm talking in compared to the world population, right? So 4.23% of the total US population compared to the world population can speak in American English, right? Uh, Canadian English, uh, I, I just consider Canadian English and American English quite similar. There's a little bit of difference in dialect and accent, but Overall, they're quite similar. So I just put Canadian English as an American English, right? Uh, so Canadian English is spoken by 0.48% of the world population, right? That constitutes of 0.48% uh, of the world population. All right, uh, let's talk about some South American countries because I believe that uh, South American countries also speak in American English because they are quite close to each other, right? Uh, because of the border things and also they also speak i believe that most of them speak in american english so if i talk about south american countries uh, so basically uh, 5.53 includes the population of south america right so now i'm not uh, okay so i know that i'm kind of exaggerating here but i'm gonna take a random number say only 50% of the South American people can speak in American English, or maybe they might be speaking some other kind of dialect or accent, or they might be learning different kind of English, right? Maybe British or something else. So uh, I just assume 50% of the total South American population can speak in American English. Uh, so in a nutshell, if I just calculate, I would say half of 5.53% makes 2.77 percent here right now let's do the math let's do the addition so american population canadian and south american so it makes up up to 7.48 percent of the total population means 7.48 percent of the total world population can speak american english or can understand or uh, speak in american accent all right now let's talk about british english uh, so as I can see from the data, 0.87% is the total UK population compared to the total world population, right? So suppose uh, all the people. So when I say UK, UK has many countries. It, it also includes Scotland, Northern Ireland, uh, Wales, 
and so many countries. And uh, mind you that Scotland accent, Scotland English, Scotland English is quite different from the British English, right? It's not the standard English, but I still include that portion, that part of uh, speakers in British English because basically they are the same continent or same uh, same country, right? So I would just say point. Eight seven of the total UK population can speak in British English. Well, all right. Now let's talk about uh, some other countries. Uh, so, for example, say some European countries. Now, of course, now this data I'm kind of trying to fudge the data right now because I know that not all the people in Europe uh, can speak in British English because. A lot of people, a lot of schools actually there, a lot of people learn American English nowadays because it's quite popular because of the movies and music and the culture they get from American, right? So, uh, but, but, but just just to force the data, just to say represent the data, I just take a random number. So say Europe population is 9.78% of the total world population. Now let's take the half because I also took half of the population of South America and we were calculating about American English speakers, right? Uh, so say 9.78%, so take the half of that, it makes up to um, 4.98, right? And, and also there are some Asian countries as well where British English is spoken, but we are not counting Asian countries because it's a kind of mixed bag. Uh, in most of the Asian countries, British English is taught in some of the Asian countries, American English taught, for example, countries like say Southern, a Southern Asian country like India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, we actually learn from British curriculum, but I've seen some Southeast Asian country like Japan, Vietnam, uh, they speak or they learn American English, right? Uh, so overall, if I calculate, I come up with a number that uh, if we do the addition, I can say that 5.76% of the total world population can speak British English, right? Now, if we just compare, uh, remember the math, right? So we did the addition before. So finally, we can conclude that 7.48% of the total world population can speak American English or can understand American English, or I can say 5.76% of the total world population can understand or speak British English. Now, this data is not accurate, I know, but I just made up this data. Uh, just, I'm just exaggerating it and just to tell you guys that even though you take an approximate number, you still see, you still notice that there are more number of English speaker, American English speaker compared to British English speaker, right? So you should learn American English. Moreover, we have not talked about other kinds of accent or English, for example, Australian, New Zealand, or Indian English, or maybe Filipino English, right? Uh, you should not be learning that uh, unless you have some motive. Like, for example, if you want to move to Australia, if you want to move to New Zealand, or want to move to Philippines or Indian, then you should be learning all these accents. But these accents are not considered as standard accent of English or standard pronunciation of English. Uh, so you should never learn these kind of accent or pronunciation. Why I sh I'm saying that? Because uh, the only motive or the only goal you need to learn Australian English or other kinds of English if you want to sound cool. You're just learning English for fun. You just want to communicate with people. Your goal is to just travel around the world. Then, of course, you can go with a more Australian English or any kind of English. That's okay. That sounds cool, right? But... If you are a professional, if you are a working professional, you should stick with either American English or British English. But as I presented you the data, there are more number of English, American English speaker, you should learn American English. Now, another reason to learn American English is there's a growing trend of American English and you can see the growing culture of American English all around the world. And you can see like there are a lot of American movies, music, TV series, and people all around the world watch these movies and TV series. And that's why they are much familiar with American English compared to British English, right? Other than that, I've been to many Asian countries and I can see that 
a lot of people in we talk about Vietnam, Japan, uh, Philippines, right? Uh, in, in the Philippines, mostly people speak American English only. They don't know any other kind of English, right? In Vietnam, Japan, a uh, lot of people are taught with an American curriculum rather than a British curriculum. So as I can compare, or I can see that, you know, there's a growing, growing trend of American English in the future. And you see a lot of people might be moving towards American English compared to British English. However, I'm, I'm a big supporter of British English because my pronunciation is very close to British English and I, I don't really know American English. I'm not really comfortable with American English because my pronunciation is close to British pronunciation. Uh, so I, even though I don't recommend learning American English, but if we just talk about facts, of course, because of the growing culture and growing trend, looking at the future, uh, we should stick with American English for now. Does this mean that we should only learn American English? Not at all. I mean, as I told, the reason that, you know, why we should learn American English because there's a growing culture and you see in the future, we might see a lot of American English speaker compared to British English speaker, right? But if your goal is to go to the UK, do some kind of jobs in the UK, then it's okay to learn British English. But if you are living in some Asian country where you are working as a working professional, watch, and if you have just started learning English, then I would, I would suggest that you should start with American English because it might make your life easier. You might listen to a lot of American speaker. When you meet someone from different country, you might see them speaking American English. So it might be easy for you to understand them and communicate rather than if you just learn British English, then you might find some difficulties talking or communicating with people from other nationalities, right? So that's the only reason, but it's up to you, of course. Uh, as if I talk about myself, I've chosen to learn British English because I think it's, it's cool for me or also because I'm a teacher uh, and I, sometimes I find uh, difficulties. I find some difficulties while teaching to my students because a lot of my students speak in American accent or they have learned American English. So whenever I tell them some words which are quite different from American English, or my pronunciation and accent is quite different, right? So they uh, kind of shocked sometimes, right? And it's really difficult for me to teach them different kind of pronunciation, right? So it's also quite challenging for me, but I don't want to change it. I just want to keep my this same pronunciation and accent. Uh, because uh, I think it's, it's okay for me. But if you are a work, working professional, working in some particular field, and your job requires you to talk or communicate with a lot of different nationalities, uh, yeah, you should start with American English. That, that's the concrete answer I can give you right now. In the end, as I mentioned the start of the video, that I'm going to give you the concrete answer. So I would say you should start learning American English only. Uh, but it's up to you. If you think that British English is more suitable for you or any other kinds of English, uh, but uh, I think I think you should be learning American English only if you are a working professional. But if you are a traveler or if you have some other kind of jobs, then it's okay to learn any kind of English. Uh, I also found this article that claims that more than one billion people are taught to speak American English as a native, second, or a foreign language right so i'm gonna put this link uh, you can see this link in the description right you can actually check out this article i found this article and actually it claims that you know there is a growing trend of american english and a lot of people might be speaking american english in the future so it might be quite useful for people who have just started learning english and if they have started learning american english that great for them all right. So in this, in the start of the in the start of this video, I actually asked a question that was the American pronunciation of this word oregano. All right. So the American pronunciation of this word oregano is oregano, oregano. All right. So this is how we pronounce oregano in American English, oregano. All right. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video quite useful. And yep. Uh, as I said, that there's no clear answer to this, but I try to give you the clear answer that why you should be learning American English. So that's all for today, and I hope to see you next in my next video. Ta-ta, bye-bye, take care.